a lot of young guys think that okay I'll get into a gym get on a steroid cycle and and they, they're lacking the foundation of the thing please tell the young guys to I mean how to go about it how important is the foundation of fitness from nutrition to supplementation you feel it is very easy it's very easy for you that if you'll take a cycle if you'll take some anabolics in a month's time you'll be like the Arnold Schwarzenegger it doesn't go like that I was 15 years old when I started working out it's been 12 years of hardcore training I'm 28 today so you see there is almost a 13 years of good hard work involved on in my body so there's a muscle memory for me having said that people who are starting new you need to set your foundation right you need to learn how to do how do you want to have to do the squats how to do biceps how to do triceps you're doing it all wrong and then you're going on a cycle and then if you go on a cycle you go and have a pizza you do drugs you do smoke along with it it's going to have a side effect on you everything you do in excess will have a side effect on your body that's exactly what I'm trying to say. Don't go, don't rush yourself. You're young, you're just 18, you're just 19. Your testosterone is going to be at the highest right now. You're going to be, you have at least the next 10 years. See, scientifically, after 30, your testosterone level stops dropping every year. That is when you need an additional source of testosterone to build an extra muscle. But right now, you don't need it. So all the youngsters, don't think that if I have to go on anabolic, I only then I'll get my abs. No, you can still get enough. Bruce Lee was never on anabolics. He was, yet he was the most shredded man. Try and get a beach body. Beach body is what the most uh, trending thing is. I would not prefer being a bulky guy or a huge guy. I'd rather have a nice V tapered wing, nice waist cut. I have both shorts around. I want to walk at the beach. I want to see all the women staring at me. That's exactly what you want. You don't want to compete. If you're competing, it's a different ball game altogether. There is a coach. Then you have a nutritionist. You take it by all these people are your guidelines, their foundations. So I have these people, when I was competing, I have a set of people who are always behind me. So please don't get into anabolics without any proper knowledge, without any proper coach. Even if you're on it, please make sure that you do your regular blood tests and you get to know your testosterone level, your E2 levels, your liver, everything. You never know what is affecting. So Anup, one word on supplementation. I mean, a lot of guys think that, okay, I'll get jacked. So I'll get jacked. They have this misconception and they are not paying attention to their nutrition. People think that this is a protein powder or yeah, steroid. Exactly. Protein powder or steroid is not because it's ridiculous. Unfortunately, we are facing ignorance on knowledge. I would request you all to guide, to get a guidance from proper nutritionist. Protein is just a supplement. It is very safe. It, it is supposed to be taken only if your requirement from chicken and eggs is not fulfilled. From your food, yeah. There is one. There is one option is. You have 40 egg, as per your body weight, you decide how much protein you're going to take, how much chicken you're going to take in a day, how much eggs you're going to take in a day. If you're not able to get that much of chicken and eggs, what do you do? Okay, so you switch to whey supplement. That is what supplement is all about. Supplement word itself means you're supposed to take it only as a supplement. You're not supposed to have it a lot of times. At the same time, you're supposed to balance it.